it is a amazing day today we will be con continuing the highwayman trend for Britain as I found some more Ooh, we're gonna have some fun today come everyone into my cabin oh well that was the heck yes today we are by the fire again come gather around the fireplace it's a cold day and uh, wherever we're at although it's not winter yet but have a nice around like just sit around the campfire well the fireplace actually yeah today we'll be talking about the British highwayman Lewis Jeremiah Abershaw born Lewis Jeremiah Abershaw born in 1773 in Kingston upon Thames or Toms I don't know England his occupation was highwayman oh he, he was a murderer but we, we, it, it was probably self-defense in this case but he'll, he'll, he'll most highwaymen will claim that it tends to not be the case but yeah born in Kingston upon Toms in Surrey Abershaw started his life of crime at the age of 17 leading a gang of robbers based at the bald faced stag inn at Putney Putney Vale on the road between Kingston and London when in hiding when in hiding he frequented a house in Clerkenwall well near Soffin Hill Saffron Hill these British names I just memorize what I need to say but then I still butcher the names of some places fun known as the old house in West Street which was noted for its dark closets trapdoors sliding panels and had often formed the asylum of wanted criminals including Jonathan Wild and Jack Shepard all efforts to bring Abershaw to justice for a time proved futile, but in January of 1795 he shot dead one of the constables sent to arrest him in Southwark, and attempted to shoot another. He was eventually arrested in London at a public house, the Three Brewers, in Southwark. For his crimes he was brought to trial at Surrey, at Surrey Assizes in July of the same year, Although a legal flaw in the indictment invalidated the case of murder against him, he was convicted and sentenced to death on the second charge of felonious shooting. Wow. I'm surprised that's a thing. On Monday the 3rd, August 1795, Abershaw was hanged on Kennington Common. His body afterwards was set on a gallows gibbeted at Putney Vale, the last hanged highwayman's body to be so displayed. The coolness with which Abershaw met his death prolonged his notoriety, and his name was commonly used as a synonym for daring a thief in the early years of the 19th century. He received his sentence with extraordinary sang froid, putting on his own hat at, on the, at the same moment as the judge assumed the black cap and observing him with contemptuous looks. While pronouncing judgment, the few days had intervened between his conviction and execution he spent in sketching with cherries on the walls of his cell scenes from his daring exploits on the road while being driven to the gallows he appeared entirely entirely uncoerced had a flower in his mouth and kept up an incessant conversation with the persons who rode beside the cart, frequently laughing and nodding to the others of his acquaintances, whom he perceived in the crowd, which was immense, according to an article in the Oracle and Public Advi Advertiser at the time. In a pamphlet on his career entitled Hard and Villainy Displayed, which was published soon after his death, he is described as a good-looking young man only 22 years of age, Abershaw was sometimes known as the Laughing Highwayman, or Weird Croydon. Weird Croydon? 
Some of these people have weird names. Although Abershaw was far removed from the romantic image of the lovable rogue, he possessed a healthy sense of humor, often incorporating his ironic wit into his robberies. An exact from the history book Local Highwayman reads, Abershaw's humor seemed to be at its best when his personal fortunes were at their worst. For instance, at the trial of, at the time of his trial, eventual hanging, a classic example of gallows humor. Anecdotes of Abershaw credit him with the rude generosity commonly ascribed to men of his voc vocation. On one November night, it is said, after several hours spent upon the road, he was taken ill at the bald-faced stag and a doctor was sent from Kingston. Abershaw entreated, entreated the doctor, who was in ignorance of his patient, patient's name, to travel back under the protection of one of his own men, but the gentleman refused, declaring that he feared no one, even should he be he meet with Abershaw himself. The story was frequently repeated by the highwayman as a testimony to the eminence he gained in his profession. In popular culture, Abishaw, Abershaw appears in the Romany Rye by George Borrow, alongside others such as Galloping Dick Ferguson. Isn't that just lovely? People do like to say Dick quite a bit. In the novel Jacob Faithful by Frederick Marriott, Jacob and another boy get lost in the Wimbledon common see the hanging skeleton of Jerry Abershaw. He is a character as Jerry Abershaw in the Red House and Six Ghost Stories by Sir Thomas Graham Jackson. Wow, that's just fun. But that is the end for today's video. If you love my videos and like my content, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for your notifications. And I know it's it's very sad. It it really is. Um It it's just is sad when a person you like to watch, you know, he, he has to go away. But don't worry, I'll be back for the second video. Now As one YouTuber said, we shall do this very soon again, my friends. But for now, goodbye!
Goodbye, everyone.